In this problem, we have to find the intervals on which the vector-valued function is smooth. So a vector-valued function will be smooth whenever the derivatives of the component functions are continuous and when they're not both zero. So what you can do here is you first start by calling this piece x and this piece y. These are your component functions. So x is equal to 7t squared and y is equal to 2t cubed. The next thing you want to do to find out where it's smooth is you take the derivative. So x prime is equal to, looks like 2 times 7 is 14, so 14t. And then y prime will be equal to 3 times 2, so 6t squared. So we're trying to find out where it's smooth. So basically it's going to be smooth as long as these are continuous and they're not both zero. So the idea is let's find out when they're not smooth. So we set both of these equations equal to zero at the same time. And we can see if we solve the first one we get zero by dividing by 14. Likewise in the second one we get zero. So zero is a solution to both equations. Therefore these guys will both be zero when t is equal to zero. So in other words, when t is equal to zero, it's not smooth. And this is the only time it's not smooth because this is the only time that both of these derivatives are equal to zero at the same time. So to find out where it's smooth, we can just simply draw a number line and we'll take zero and put it right here. And it's everything over here all the way to zero but you don't include it, then you start at zero again, so use another parentheses, and then all the way this way. So the final answer will be negative infinity to zero. That would be one interval where it is smooth, and the other one would be zero to infinity. That would be the other interval where it is smooth. I hope this video has been helpful.